Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm very grateful to see you all out here today. I'm grateful, too, that it's not raining on us. I want to acknowledge Chicago Heights Mayor David Gonzalez. Commissioner Sims will be joining us shortly. Bill Crotty is here, Building Together, Rebuilding Together Board President. Wanda Ramirez, who's Executive Director of Rebuilding Together Metro Chicago. Homeowners Janice Travis and Ramona Squire. Got everybody? Yeah. Got everybody? Yeah. Okay. We'll get to Ashlar in a minute. All right. I want to thank you all for joining us for another successful partnership of Rebuilding Together Metro Chicago and Cook County Government. For more than three decades, 30 years, Cook County has assisted many residents making repairs to their homes. Repairs that not only make it safer and easier for them to get around, but also make their homes more comfortable. This program represents the best parts of Cook County government. People coming together to lend their skills and expertise to those who need it most. As honorary chair of Rebuilding Together Metro Chicago, I believe firmly in the, in the mission of Rebuilding Together to improve the homes of our residents. This year, Cook County is sponsoring two home renovation projects in Chicago Heights. The two recipients of home improvements are Mrs. Janice Travis, who's hosting us here this afternoon, and Ms. Ramona Squire. Both women have given much to their communities and their families and have been longtime residents of Chicago Heights. Ms. Travis lived in this home for more than 22 years and lives with her daughter, Frances. We're honored to be able to assist Ms. Travis with repairs that make mobility easier for her as well as her daughter. Our team make kitchen and bathroom improvements and replace the windows and carpet in addition to other improvements. Ms. Squire, a beloved member of her community and resident of Cambridge Street, which is around the corner, has lived in her home since 1969. Her home now has safety improvements such as new railings, and lever door handles, as well as improvements to the kitchen and bathroom and landscaping around her homes. Not only do we enjoy renovating these homes, but also hearing the stories of the people who live here. We hope the repairs and improvements made will allow these residents to stay in their homes comfortably and independently for years to come. I would like to thank all of our employee volunteers and House Captain Vernon Warsham from the Department of Capital Planning and Policy, as well as the Department of Transportation and Highways, Real Estate Management and Planning, Facilities Management and Planning and Development part Departments for all their hard work. I think uh, Bilkies is here. Who else? Yes, Bilkies, Jacobs L is here. Um, and I know we have a lot of other county staff here as well. I also want to thank our unions and their member tradesmen who used their skills and expertise to help these residents, including the Bricklayers Local 21, IBEW Electricians Local 134, Carpenters Local 13, Painters Council District 14, and Plumbers Local 130. Finally, I would like to thank our sponsors, FH Passion, Ashlar Construction, AGAE Contractors, and Old Veteran Construction. And Ashlar is represented today, right? There we go. So I can't wait to, to, to tour these beautiful homes, but first I want to hear from Chicago Heights Mayor David Gonzalez. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out, and but a, a sincere thank you for all the volunteers that have come out again to uh, Chicago Heights as uh, President Preckwinkle just announced all the volunteers, the union trades. Uh, this isn't possible without all the entities coming together. And we're very fortunate to have that partnership with uh, Cook County and Rebuilding Together. Uh, this has been many, many years that we've been partnering up together. Unfortunate, you know, last year because of the pandemic, we weren't able to come out here. But it's such a, such a joy to see um, all the participation that happens <laughs> And it's just amazing when you see the before and after pictures of uh, what is being done here in Chicago Heights. I want to thank uh, President Prickwinkle for her administration and all the commitment that they've made into the South Suburbs when it comes into investing here. 
Uh, we've gotten a lot of grant money to deal with and uh, to work with with Invest in Cook. Uh, we're doing right now road projects with the CDBG grants and uh, uh, flood issues that we're having here in Beacon Hill. This is all because of the county money that we are getting. So we're very appreciative of all those dollars that are coming in here to the south suburbs under uh, this administration. And again, I just want to thank everybody for their generosity, for their hard work, and constantly keeping coming out here to Chicago Heights. Um, you know, we've been uh, meeting with the Beacon Hill residents uh, for about nearly a year. We have uh, monthly meetings um, here at the school district in terms of just changing the community. And over the past year, you know, we've allocated uh, over a million dollars in just terms of demolitions, <coughs> trying to fix up uh, our roads, our, our fire hydrants. And now with that partnership with uh, Cook County and Rebuilding Together, we're going to get uh, so much more done and advance the projects a lot quicker. So again, on behalf of the residents of Chicago Heights, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Next, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Crotty and Wanda Ramirez to come to the podium to talk on behalf of Rebuilding Together. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Bill Crotty. I'm the president of the board. But more importantly than being the president of the board, I'm a 22-year volunteer. Here, here. So when you talk about 22 years out of a 30-year organization, that's a, pr a pretty good stint. Uh, we started in 1991. And in that time, we've had over 1,900 homes and 285 community centers repaired and revitalized by the groups that support us. Uh, each year in the last Saturday of April, like today, we get together and we celebrate the spirit of volunteerism and we call to attention the ever-increasing need for our services across communities. Over the last two years, the pandemic has caused us to truly pivot not even allow us to come into homes like we normally would. So we changed things up. We delivered PPE, we delivered food, we uh, replaced hot water heaters where we could get into facilities. We did uh, furnace checks and furnace and boiler repairs. And we also worked with uh, the IBEW to replace outdoor lighting where we could. Again, staying out of homes to not cause any due harm and just doing whatever we could to make, uh, still make things better while we could. Now, great to say that we're back. Uh, these repairs couldn't happen without the dedication of the typical group we have, which includes 1,500 community volunteers, represents 60 corporations, uh, skilled labor, and service organizations. Just wanted to take a moment to thank again uh, President Preckwinkle, as well as Mayor Gonzalez, uh, our partners in the trades. Uh, the president's already brought them up, but we couldn't be where, here where we are today without uh, the IBEW and 134, Powering Chicago, uh, the Journeyman Plumbers of 130, the, the Carpenters of the Regionals 1, 10, 13, 58, and 272, the Painters of Council 14, and the Sheet Metal Workers of Local 73. We really want to thank the county for sponsoring this home and the other home locally, and then just glad that everyone were coming out. Thank you very much. I think Bill uh, mentioned everything that I would say, but thank you. <laughs> but I, I do want to, from the bottom of my heart, just thank everybody who's come out, who's supported us, who's supported our homeowners um, in Chicago Heights. Um, President Preckwinkle, who is our honorary co-chair, has been a great supporter of our organization, and we couldn't do it without them. And Mayor Gonzalez, thank you for welcoming us into Chicago Heights, and all of our homeowners. Thank you for welcoming us into your homes, to allowing us to work with you, trusting us, and trusting our volunteers. Thank you so much. It's been an honor being here. So now, <clears throat> let's take an opportunity to hear from our homeowners. We're going to start with Janice Travis and then Ramona Squire. I would like to thank uh, Rebuilding uh, Together for choosing me. Um, it's a lot that they did for me, and I appreciate everything. Um, my bathroom, the paint job that they did in the living room, it's wonderful. And my kitchen, the new cabinets, I appreciate everything. And um, two people I also would like to thank is my mother and my daughter. My mother's the one that got all the flowers right here, and my 
daughter, that's my backbone. She's the one that helped move this and move that and had to go to school. We had to spend the night at a hotel. We had no water, no toilet, but it worked out. But uh, thank you all. I appreciate everything. And next, we'd like to hear from Ramona Squire. Hi, everybody. Hello. I just want to thank everybody for everything. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, I wanted to give you this. Thank you so much. Brandon. One for you. Thank you. And President. Well, thank you. And thank these you flowers. Well, because thank I you. really appreciate it. I felt so honored to have Cook County be my sponsor. Well, and I enjoyed you. everything, every minute of it. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm very you. grateful. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. We're grateful to Ms. Travis and Ms. Squire for their remarks. Commissioner Deborah Sims has joined us. This is her district. She was delayed because she had to attend a funeral, but we're grateful that she's able to be with us. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Anytime we do this, this is a great event. Uh, Madam President, I know this is called Rebuilding Together, but in my mind and in my heart, it will always be Christmas in April. <laughs> For some odd reason, I, when we talk about rebuilding together, it, it just doesn't resonate. To me, Christmas in April is always a better name for this, and I was upset when they changed the name. But to both of you ladies who got the honor of having uh, some work done in your homes and to make it an easier place for you to live. Cook County employees and the trades are always happy to do this. When they talk about Cook County government, this is Cook County government. Look at our trades people. Look at all of the, the president's staff that are here working hard to make life a little bit easier for you. And everybody's so happy, happy, because they don't do this begrudgingly. They do this and they're happy to do this. They want to make life easy for the people that live in Cook County. And Mayor, thank you for allowing us to come into your community and also to help uh, make your community look a little bit better and the people in the community to be a little bit happier. So thank all of you and to all the trades and all the president's people and to my staff person who's here area. Uh, thank all of you and for all of the neighbors that come out and have watched and, and some of you I know have pitched in um, to make this a good day for both of them. And I see one of our trades people I think I've known since uh, 28 years. Uh, and I have to mention him because, Madam President, we talk about the table that's in my office that's like over since the 1800s. He refinished that table for me. Here, here. So, yeah, so we should give him a hand. So he's still here doing the work and making sure that he helps the people in, of Cook County. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner. 